Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Strategic Command War in Europe. This is the Wargaming Guy. And uh, thanks for tuning in. As you can see uh, at this juncture, we actually have some reinforcements. Yay! And if you've been following my game here, you know where these guys are going. They're going to the west as badly as we could use them other places, like in the east. Or better yet, down in the uh, Caucasus. No way to get them there. No easy way, thanks to Turkey. But uh, because of our recent destruction of... Ooh, look at that. Hey. Destruction of uh, Army Group England, as I like to call it. Um, let's see. Let's just put him right there. We've got a big problem. Thank goodness winter is here. But as you can see, <laughs> there's not much left of anything German as far as uh, England goes. We're going to put him in there to get rebuilt. Um, and this guy, I think we're going to pull him. Yeah, let's just get him all the way up. Get him out of Dodge. Um, then there's this guy. He was in Portsmouth, but they forced him out. So that's basically, you know, we're just... Uh, we don't have any choice. We're just going to put him in here. He's going to die, but what are you going to do? So the third panzer tanks are there. Now we could attack with them, but the last thing they need to do is be losing anything. So we're going to close that up. And then finally, I think if I put this guy here, then any allied naval stuff that goes through there, it should have to like get hit, right? So now I'm going to do something that's sort of like real world, but... Uh, and it's kind of stupid because it will cost me money. But here's Von, Von Bach. Now, Von Bach was the commander of Army Group England. And so, therefore, whatever happened to it, he must bear responsibility. Yes, I know. He was only doing what I told him to do. But that doesn't matter, folks. You don't get to this level of command and then survive it. Uh, because otherwise, people will blame me. And that can't happen. So I, the great, magnificent, visionary leader of the Reich, must not be blamed for this. Not my fault. So it's got to be Von Bach. So Von Bach is going. We're going to send him to Baghdad and make him the chief dog catcher in Baghdad because we do. Yes, we do. Hold Baghdad. Meanwhile, we're going to sack him, though, obviously, and do that. And so here's the list of people that we can replace him with. Von Klug, Modul, Van Kleist, List, Schoner, all those guys. I am going to pick Modal because historically Modal was great on defense and we are going to need that. Yes, it's going to cost me 90 MPPs. Yeah, it's stupid to do it, but I'm doing it anyway because, hey, there ought to be some sense of realism in the game, right? So that's what I'm doing. Okay, and we're going to reinforce this guy just to get everybody ready. Check my upgrades. Uh, because, yeah. Oh, look at that. Whoa, I didn't realize. Yeah, and we will definitely give him the uh, anti-aircraft defense. And we're still like, this is not good. But we can't upgrade everything at once. And I'm hoping that winter will slow them down a little bit. Um, let's hope so. So, let's see. Let's check our air units. He's all right. He's okay. He's okay. This guy I can upgrade him. I can't reinforce him. Whoa. What's up with that? I got 941 MPPs. Is it because it's winter? What's going on? I don't know. All right. Well, we'll figure that out later. And so, okay. These guys are all reinforced. Ah, I knew I had somebody around here that needed help. We'll get this guy up to max. Of course, until we get our jets, we are still at a huge disadvantage. And, ooh, we're almost there. Next turn or two, I hope. Yeah, that would be amazing. It would be a huge, 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 huge help. Now, what about this boy? Uh, let's go ahead and do it. And put him there. I can't believe England has fallen. I mean, you know, once they take Portsmouth and this guy, somebody waddles into Swansea, that's it. That's it, folks. My dream of holding England is gone. Now, what about this guy? Yes. 
Hello. Now, can he go anywhere? Yeah, I'll, he's going to hit other troops, I mean ships, but what the heck. Yeah, yeah, that didn't get you very far. All right, so we got two subs there, but yeah. The good old Banzai, the U Banzai. My salute to our Japanese allies is uh, not doing real great. Okay, over here we don't... Oh, we do. I did send one more over here. Probably stupid, but what the heck. All right, so let's get you up here. Let's see. I still can't get into that hex. I d right, he can go into that hex. He can only go here. Where else can I... I can't operate him. All right, all right, all right, all right. Arr. Get your butt up there. Uh, okay, we're going to have to obviously reach... Oh, gee, that sucks. I'm going to have to pull back here because I don't think I've got any way. Yeah. Nope. All right. Pull back. Speaking of pulling back, yeah. Rommel, move your little fanny. This is what I was worried about. Are you? Wait a minute. Yeah. Oh, good. So now you can't go anywhere else. You? Are you kidding me? I'm going to lose my panzers? Oh my gosh. I'm going to lose them. Oh, frack. And that's a... Wow. <sighs> Holy crud. Well, I totally botched that one, didn't I? All right. Let's put you over here. Oh, man. Boy, I, I just didn't plan that well at all. Oh, that sucks so bad. All right, well, let's hurt him anyway. Jeez, because he can just come right down here. He can go there. That's it. We're pocketed. We've got no chance. Oh, man. Yeah, I need a drink. It's uh, sun tea, and that's all. Artificial sweetener and sun tea. That's it, folks, I promise. All right, well, uh, man, we're just batting a thousand here. So let's take a look at the Eastern Front. Let's swap these guys. And you know what? I'm actually going to up that because we're going to need it. Now, I was thinking we might be able to take this back. But I forgot this is a, uh, well, let's see. No, nah, it's probably not going to work, but, man, I'd love to have that hex back because it would certainly shorten up my line a bit, but it's not to be at this moment. Um, okay, we'll reinforce you. I don't like it that there's nobody back here, especially facing this. What is this? Heavy tanks. Mm, yeah, only one strike, but that may be all he needs. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and give him some reinforcements since he's a corner unit. Oh, can't reinforce that. You. Oh, wait a minute. Let's let's pull him back. There we go. That's it? Just one? Good. Oh, come on. Oh, this is the guy that I should have been worried about. Er, too late. All right, well, let's hope we can reinforce him and hang on through the winter. A little bit, not much. Oh, this guy's toast. 
What can I do with him? Yeah, he doesn't need aircraft right now. He needs bodies. Warm little Italian bodies. That's what he needs. Um, if I operate him... Can't get there, but he can get close. Wow. Look at all these units I've got here that are just beat to heck. Ah, I don't want to lose entrenchment of two. Come on. There we go. Reinforce. Yeah. We want to reinforce. And uh, we'll keep you over on the other side of the river for a while. Let's just see what happens. Okay. Von Rundstedt. I don't suppose I can... Yeah, I moved you, so I can't reinforce you. What about you? Uh, what's the upgrade? Yeah, oh, he's got no anti-air. Let's go ahead and... Gear him up, and I'm down to 580, so let's look at diplomacy. Turkey is stuck where it's been stuck forever, and that's at 85%. Neither one of us can do a darn thing about it, so yeah, I wish I could declare war on them. But that would be very foolish. All right, core. Yeah, well, this is the German, right? Yeah. Corps, uh, army, army. Where are my just uh, fighters? <sighs> really? All right. Well, I want a few core. So I've got a lot of space to fill. So we'll see how fast we can crank these out. Really? Can I get all three of these? Probably not. Yeah. I still can't. All right, I'll tell you what. We'll just go without mobility. That might not be that important. Italians, we got 109, which is basically nothing. So scratch that. Uh, la, la, la. Let's see. Yep. Now let's just hope the Vichy French don't do anything. You know, let's just check diplomacy. Where are they at? Vichy France, 4% towards us. Perfect. Stay right there. That would be good. And let's check morale. The UK is at 34. They've actually dropped. Look at that. They stayed in the war even though the French have 50. The US, yeah, they're about to get a big morale boost, I'm sure, is at 91. Ruskies are 95. We're starting to drop. Ooh, we're down to 90. And the Italians, who were 105, they're 104. So they're they're still having a good time. They haven't figured out what's going on yet. Ah, I did forget, didn't I? Yes. All right. This isn't going to work. But what the heck? Oh, maybe it will. All right. Ah, and this guy. Let's at least put him where I can do some damage. And let's see. Do we have anybody getting repaired over there? Nope. So I pulled all my subs out to try and help, and of course, and other units, and of course, they all got their butts kicked. Okay, all right, that'll do it. Let's move forward and see what happens. Uh, wow. I'm still reeling. I've been thinking all week about that turn, and I didn't see the problem in the, in the uh, caucuses at all. That is a disaster. <sighs> oh, we got level five tanks. What about level? Yes. Good turn. Oh, look at the Italians going. All right. We can beef up our armor at least and our air power, our fighters at any rate. Awesome. And then we don't have to spend any more money researching them. And that's also good. Really? They're attacking the... Shipping at Bordeaux. That's just fine. Little cockle shell dudes. Because now you're going to wipe out my... Pan I'm going to lose two Panzer units. Well, maybe not lose that one in the Caucasus this turn, but it's coming. Unless a miracle happens. Sometimes they do. 
We will hope. We will cling to hope. Ah, here we go. Oh, look at that. A CV. Oh, baby, stay there and let, if I survive this turn, let me sink you. Which one is it? It's not telling us. Dang it. That was an interesting move by the AI. Oh, yeah, this is what we need. More armor. Man, the, the Americans have a lot of armor. Yeah. Okay. It's almost the end of 1943. This point, of course, basically the Axis. The Axis, we're, we're really playing for time now. Our chance to win's over. There, there. I mean, talk about a miracle. It would be a an incredible to actually win in terms of knocking your enemies out of the war. Now, if you you know, we could win in game terms if we last long enough. So, oh, you're not you're not diving now, buddy. Dive, dive. Thank you, thank you very much. Dive again. No, dive. It's a submarine. You can go under the water. You're not listening. I know you're the bonsai, but don't doesn't mean you have to be crazy about it. Thank you. Bonsai towards that ocean floor. Uh-oh. Actually, I'd rather see them bomb this than the sub because he's going to die either way, so what the heck. Yep, sorry, guys. It's, don't blame me. It's Von Bach, remember. He did this to you, not me. I'm trying to help. But even I can't undo everything if only he had listened <laughs> oh yes strategic command the game that helps you become a propaganda writer Ooh, they're getting they're getting getting a little rowdy here now come on come on it's winter. Take some time off. Go. Oh, wait. You're commies. You don't have Christmas. Never mind. Okay. Isn't that weird that I got to see that destroyer because that little spit of land there is technically mine, even though there's no one there, unless we left spies behind? <laughs> Uh-oh. Dive, dive, dive. Thank you. Dive, dive, dive. Yes, that's so good. That's what we want. Just keep... And man, the ships haven't even come after me yet, have they? Wow. So I'm going to survive several attacks here. If I can manage to get through it... Man, it would make me so happy to be able to take that CV down. But I'm going to go down. Let me go down taking an American carrier. Uh, oh, Lord. Yep, it's... That's, that's over. So there you go. The last major town in England has fallen. And Herr Modul has a major job on his hands. Being promoted to army command a little sooner than he was historically, I believe. But he's actually more than the army commander. He's actually like an army group commander. He's basically the commander of everything in France. So good luck, buddy. Just remember, you too, <clears throat> you too could go to Baghdad and catch dogs if you're not careful. Or, well, we already got somebody in Baghdad. We'll send you to Mosul or something. Maybe Tehran. All right, all right, all right. Hang on, guys. Just hang on. Ooh, I missed... Uh... Oh, no, I did. Yeah, I couldn't. Well, let's see. Let's see how he does. Ooh, whoa, an engineer unit took a point off of my, took two points off of that armored unit. Come on. Man, they're not usually that good in combat. Uh-oh. So here comes the, 
Here comes the pocket. Somebody's going to, well, good. At least they're not. Here we go. Pocket formed. What have I got? I got a recon unit, an understrength German armored unit, and maybe an understrength Italian armored unit. But I don't know who's going to hold the flank if I send them up there. Ugh. Oh, wow. Now they're starting to beat the crap out of them. They don't even have a town to draw from because we failed to take Baku. Wow. <laughs> oh, my, oh, my, oh, my. Well, my reputation as a bad war game general on YouTube seems to be intact. There you go. Come on. Don't let him push you around now. Don't let him do it. That's it. Stand and fight. Stand and fight. That's right. Good. That should be fairly safe. That recon unit could move out or attack, but I'm thinking it probably won't. Oh, that's nice. There you go. And they switch a roo on me, but look at that. Seven to ten gets you that. Ha! Take that. Look at these Italians, man. They're fighting like Italians. Whatever that means. I don't know, but it sounds good. All right. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Uh-oh. Yeah. You know, what's really bad here is not just losing those two units, which is bad enough, but basically it looks like we're going to lose the ability to hold this line. And the further back we go, the longer the line gets, which means, you know, th the fewer units you have, the less ability you have to hold that line. So this could be the beginning of the Russians running rampant in the Middle East. Talk about bad news. That would be bad news indeed. Ugh, look at, ugh. Yeah, we're not getting through that. There's no way. Even if we did punch that nine out of the way, they wouldn't get... There's just no way. Golly. Oh, this sucks. This is... I guess this is uh, kind of a mini Stalingrad on the uh, Eastern Front here. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, well, I wish the AI was a little faster in this game, folks. I'm sorry that a lot of this you just sit and watch as it slowly plays its way out. 
That, of course, is probably as much a function of my laptop as anything else, but for now, we're stuck with my laptop because I don't really want to go spend a whole bunch of money on another one. Well, actually, I would kind of like to, but this one's not that old. And lately, with the wargaming and I'm doing some video stuff now, um, it has show, it's showing its limitations, shall we say. But it's still a good machine. It does all most of the stuff I need done pretty well. So hang in there with me. Uh oh. 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 That's not good. I was hoping the shock army would get a little kick in the pants. But no such luck. Okay, that's nice. Can't you just, you know, take the rest of the winter off and let me have my turn back here because it's, it's getting late and I want to get another, do something else here before I have to end this video. But, no. Combat AI is still thinking. No oh, heavy tanks. It's one of the things about strategic, ooh, strategic command is that heavy tanks uh, are not always really as effective as you might think they would be or that you get that idea from other games where if you have a heavy tank, it's like the end of the world. But as you can see here, heavy tanks don't always do that much. Of course, they need experience and, and all that and supply and everything else. But still, ah, he did attack. Okay. Um, they're not um, in this, in, in ST or SC, I'm sorry. <laughs> Jeez. There we go. Swansea Falls. Okay. They're not the, the boogeymen that you might have expected them to be. Unless, of course, you get them jacked up on experience and then, you know. But just in and of themselves, they're a weapon. They're a powerful weapon, but they're not. It's not the apocalypse when you see them. You know what I mean? Which is good because, you know, look at the Germans and the heavy tanks they had. And tactically, they did some pretty amazing things. But strategically, what did they do? Not much. Not much. So... They just, there weren't enough of them. And at that, by the time you rolled the Tigers out, especially the Tiger 2 out, it was over anyway. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Wait a minute. Did he just leave Baku open? Because if I if I take Baku and I'm holding another another port on the Caspian Sea, which I believe I am, then they should get supply through that. If I can get in there, I don't know. I got to check that out. I could also transport people from that port if it's... Yes, he did. Now, the question is, because of these two... Well, he doesn't have a zone of control. He does. So can I do like bloop, bloop? I don't know. But I'm going to try. That would be awesome. But also take Baku down and uh, in terms of its ability to uh, produce... MPPs for the Russians, not that it would make that big of a difference, but, you know, hey, every little bit helps. If I could salvage even one of these units, of course, I'd rather salvage the Panzer, but at this point, I'll t if I can't get the Panzer in there, then, uh, oh, and I didn't, yeah, you got to move you. Little engineer guys going to the, uh, both of these guys, actually, I decided I'm going to send to the West, so... And I think for now, that's going to be it in terms of if I get some more units popping up soon, I will put a few more here. Um, because clearly the, the Eastern Front here needs needs a little help. Some of these boys need a break. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, Earl? You know what I mean? Okay. And it looks like <clears throat> we're going to be out of time here. So uh, probably my moves will have to wait till the next video. Sorry about that again, guys. Um... When I say guys, of course, if there's any women watching, I'm including you. Guys, 
being a non-gender specific term. There you go. Okay. <laughs> uh, but I would like this to play out before I close. So let's hang on for just another minute or two. It should turn should be coming to an end. Ah, here we go. Okay, this is the Wargaming Guy saying thanks for watching, everybody, and uh, take care, and I'll see you later.